What's up guys, Marvel here from Marvel's Tech Help doing a video on how to fix the winterboard problem in uh, in uh, firmware 4.2.1. Um, basically what's been going on is people have been downloading themes from Cydia and they're not working. Uh, such as the icons won't show up or the uh, wallpapers won't uh, show up or even lock screens won't work. Um, so one of those three has been happening. Uh, I've been getting a lot of comments uh, from a lot of people saying how to fix it, you know. So I did a little research, and what I found out is that Apple, when they went to the 4.2.1 firmware, they changed the locations of the of the themes folder, so then it would be even harder to get to the um, to the icons and the wallpaper and the folders, or I'm sorry, and the uh, lock screens. Basically, so that means um, it would be harder for City and Winterboard to find them and actually put the themes up there. For some reason, my themes have been working fine, so this might be just for a few of you guys, um, such as for the iPod users, because uh, a lot of iPod users have been coming to me and asking why this is happening, and I don't have an iPod, I have an iPhone, but it's basically the same thing, except for iPhones, they get the newer updates. So anyway, let's just get into it. Um, first thing you're going to need is iFile, so I'm going to go ahead and open up my VNC, and... Uh, that's not iFile. There we go. Uh, you can see I have iFile right there. What you want to do is go into Cydia and just search for iFile, and you'll it'll pop up. You do have to pay for it, but there will be you can if you have cracked uh cracked uh, resources or yeah cracked sources, um you can get it for free. So um I'm gonna talk a little bit while this is loading up. I'm going to be doing about two parts. This is for the uh, lock screen and the wallpaper. This is just the loophole of how to get around it and how to, you know, almost cope with it because there is going to be a new a new update coming out, a new firmware coming out for iPhone users and most likely iPod users. It's firmware uh, 4.3, I think, 4.3. It's on beta as of right now. Only, like, programmers get it, but uh, it will be coming out soon. So that's good, but uh, like I said, this is just something to cope with. It. It's not a, it's not like a hundred percent fix. It is something to so you can at least have a theme for a while. And um, I'm gonna actually pause the video and let this load up. So I'll be right back. Okay, guys, I'm back. As you can see, I loaded up Cydia. Go ahead and go to search. And then from there. Type in I file, I F I L E, all one word. And I put O, didn't I? Yes, I did. <laughs> that was not even close to I file. Anyway, so like I said, just type in I file, I F I L E. All right, and then, um, like I said, it is a paid application, but you can get it for free. So uh, if you have one of those sources, you know, great. If you don't, I'll pop one up over here. So okay, just go ahead and uh, download that, and then you can go back to your home. You can get back to your home page, and once you get there, you're you're gonna see that there's a new uh, application, iFile. Go ahead and tap on that. And basically, what iFile is is you can SSH into your iPhone or iPod from your iPhone or iPod so you don't have to go to a computer alright so as you can see I'm on the mobile folder right now and go ahead and go to var tap that once and then scroll on down to stash which is where your themes folder is so go ahead and click on themes alright and now what you have to do is you have to have your theme that you want your uh, your you want your wallpaper and stuff in there so um, so basically as you can see I do have a skating whoops hold on alright guys just go back into iFile and as I was saying you have to have a theme that that you want the wallpaper and stuff to work so as you can see I do have a skating theme which is right there you can tap on that uh, so once you get into your theme uh, the certain theme that you want you see that you have your lock background and your wallpaper click on lock background alright once you click on that click this little arrow right there and it will add it to 
your camera roll and it'll take a couple seconds there it is it says image got success successfully added to the camera roll click close and then go back out and you can do to wallpaper as well all right now when that's done you're you're done you're done with the file you don't need to use it anymore so then go ahead and go to your settings and then from there go ahead and go to wallpaper and then tap on your wallpaper all right now it says what do you want to use the wallpaper or the camera roll so you click camera roll and I will scroll down I do have two of them as you can see they're right there so go ahead and tap um, oops, you can tap uh, the fallen one or whichever one you want and you can hit set and you can either have it as the home screen the lock screen or both I'm gonna use this as my lock screen and then I'll say saving photo now you can come on and do the same thing to this one hit set and do that to your home screen and once that's done you can back out and it should have worked as you can see I have the background right there Let me scroll all these over so you can see it and when I lock it there it is so I hope that helped um, that's basically my fix it's just a little uh, loophole that you can do to make it work um, like I said, this is my part one video. I will having um, probably two or three parts. Um, so where, so this is just my wallpaper and lock screen. I will do the, I'll do the icons and the uh, slider next video. So all right, guys. Um, hope this helped. Please rate, comment, subscribe if it did. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments below. Uh, this has been Marvel from Marvel Tech Help, and thanks for watching.